<laughs> All right. <laughs> this take two. Uh, man, I'm getting tired. I recorded this video about four times a day. Okay, let's try this again. PCI Express 2.0 versus 3.0. Um, first of all, the PCI Express lane is the lane that you plug your video card into. Um, there's a lot of debate going around right now on whether or not um, the PCI Express 2.0 versus 3.0 or the, the 3.0 is actually faster um, can give you more frames per second in games well it can and then it can't and the only way that it can you have you have to have a s scenario of where um, each iteration of p the PCI Express you know like it started with 1.0, now it's now it's up, you know, then it went to 2.0, now it's up to 3.0. Each one is twice as fast. Each generation is faster, twice as fast than the the one before it. And so, what you have to end up doing is you're gonna have to saturate that bus in order to the PCI Express bus. It, the lane in order to um, to get a bottleneck and then if you switch from 2.0 over to 3.0 you would get more frames that way but the problem is it takes a lot to do that and so the reason why I say that it takes a lot to do that is because most people on a budget are going to be gaming on uh, one screen with one video card or one screen with two video cards you really don't start to see any real difference um, in PCI Express uh, uh, 3.0 over 2.0 until you saturate that bus so unless you you know unless you're using like uh, two video cards on three screens or three video cards on uh, three screens or more screens um, and then you the three the three point oh uh, option would be viable for you but if you're if you're just gaming on one screen with one or two video cards you will never see any difference um, if you go with one or the other there won't be any difference there so um, it's really it's really a non-issue unless you like a an enthusiast that you know money is no object. Um, so another way I guess can that can be explained is let's just say that the 2.0 PCI Express 2.0 is a four millimeter pipe and uh, PCI Express 3.0 is a eight millimeter pipe and you have uh, let's just say that your the throughput from your video card is more like uh, three millimeters. You know, if you're just using you know one video card, one or two video cards on one screen, um, and let's just say that that's what that bus would equal. It would equal three millimeters. So if you fed that through the 2.0, which would be represented by the four millimeter pipe, you wouldn't be touching that. You know, filling that 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 bus up. But just just say if you your throughput was more like five millimeters, now you see if you ran it through that four millimeter uh, or the 2.0 slot, then you would see that um, you would be getting into a bottleneck. So if you switch that over to the 3.0 uh, bus, then you would be you would re you would alleviate that bottleneck and you would get more throughput that way and possibly even more frames that way so that's about the easiest I can explain it I put a link in the description to um, uh, Lions Tech Tips he can uh, go into a little bit more in-depth detail about it um, than I can and I also put a, a link to some guys that know what they're doing as far as benchmarks to to you know kind of prove my point to let you guys see um, that you know if you just if you're just using one or two video cards on uh, one monitor 
or it, you really don't really start to see any difference until you start you know going with two monitors on two video cards then there's like a maybe like a five to fifteen percent difference depending on the game that you're playing then you just you would start seeing you know maybe 3.0 could be a uh, a, a viable thing for you then but if you're just using one or two video you know video cards on one monitor it, it is a non-issue it's like a difference of one percent literally so just don't worry about it guys but thanks for listening thanks for watching you guys have a good day